We're at the storage unit right now, as you guys can see. I have some eBay and Mercari sales to show you guys. So I have an old car, and I gotta say, it is so nice having the option for a heated seat. It's such like a little luxury to have, you know? If you guys can't already tell, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather this morning. I don't feel 100%, but I told myself, you're gonna get up, you're gonna actually make something of yourself today. I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm, I'm always doing stuff. Like, I have school and work and stuff, but like, I just, I, I told myself I had to get the eBay stuff done today. I actually underestimated how many items we have going out for the resale on my way to AK series so i think we have nine items for the resale my way to ak series and then we have an additional seven items that are not part of the series it's just items that i bought a while ago that i basically bought before i even started this series but i thought i'd show you guys just to show you what actually sells but i'm not going to include that into the actual total for the series so none of these games sold for crazy amounts of money but i don't remember off the top of my head how much each one of these sold for but i'm just going to go ahead and add the screenshots so we have casper on the ps1 we also have NFL Blitz Pro. We have Forza Motorsport on the Xbox 360. We also have NFL Street 2. I think this sold for like $20, maybe 22 bucks if I'm not mistaken. Then we also sold NBA Hoops. We also sold, here's here's the big one, guys. Def Jam Fight for New York. If you guys ever find this game out in the wild, this game is worth over $100. I sold this for $130 plus shipping. I listed it for around $140 and I took an offer of $130 to get it moving because it had a little bit of pen marks on the cover. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it has like a little F right there if you guys can see it. And then someone actually drew a little bit like on the game, like their initials or something. So I just decided to take an offer on it. I could have gotten a little bit more if it was in better condition, but overall the actual game case itself, the disc and the manual is in great shape. And then I had another thing that I wanted to share with you guys. So I brought this game home the other day. Pretty sure it's worth around $25 plus shipping on eBay for the PlayStation 2 version, but I accidentally listed it as the volume one. You guys gotta be very careful between listening between volume one and volume two, because I sold it for $8 and I accidentally made a mistake. It should have been the volume two version that should have sold for around 20 to 25. I'm gonna honor it. Definitely own up to your own mistakes and definitely try to catch them before you actually list the product. And then moving on, we have a nice little sale. So I I sold these Air Force Ones on Mercari for $35 plus shipping. Someone didn't even bother sending an offer. They bought it outright, like full price. Sometimes you get more money on eBay. Sometimes you get more money on Mercari. Like these were only listed for like 20 or 25 bucks on eBay and I sold them for way more than Mercari. So it's like sometimes crossing, sometimes cross-listing is worth it, but you just have to make that differentiation for yourself. I would say for faster moving items for like video games, just stick to eBay, media, eBay, but like items that you know will probably take a while or are worth more money, definitely try cross listing because you never know what's gonna happen. So that's it for the nine items that sold so far, but I did want to share one more thing with you guys. So this hasn't sold yet because these are on auction, but this is a lot of 24 PlayStation 2 games. If they do sell by the time, I mean, they should sell, but the thing is if I get, if I actually get paid by the time this video goes live, I'll go ahead and throw the screenshot up now for a lot of 24 PlayStation 2 games. We got that from the garage sale and it was just a bunch of extra like filler games that I decided that they weren't worth selling on their own. So I, you know, just slotted them up, put them all in this box and then called it a day. And then same thing with this lot of 28 Xbox 360 games. If I end up selling them and getting paid for the auction, I'll go ahead and throw the screenshots up for those right now. So moving on, I told you guys that I would share some sales that are not a part of the series. So picked up this Air Jordan hoodie. I don't remember even where I got it from. Actually, I think I got this from the Goodwill bins in Miami, Florida. So I probably had like a dollar into it and I think I sold it for $14 plus shipping on Mercari. Then I sold this brand of shoes called Wolkie. I definitely would not recommend getting them because they sold after a long time, like maybe a year and a half. I think I spent like $6 for them at Salvation Army and I sold them for $21 plus shipping on eBay. Had them up at 30, but I accepted an offer. Then we sold this little baby toy. It's brand new in the box it's a munchkin like ship or submarine and it's sold for eight dollars plus shipping i think i spent like a dollar on this at a local liquidation store in my town got this from the liquidation store as well it's this fairly odd parents timmy's revenge games be on the lookout for sealed like board games and sealed puzzles because they can sell for a lot of money so i spent two dollars and fifty cents on this and i sold this for twenty dollars plus shipping on ebay then we got this hat that i picked up at the goodwill bins i think i spent like a quarter on it it's just, brand new tags it's nike but it says cara lion I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I accepted an offer, $12 plus shipping on it. Had that for a long time as well. And then we sold this Bose charger or power supply. 
and it sold for nine dollars plus shipping i probably have like a dollar fifty two bucks into this at the goodwill bins it's kind of heavy honestly i probably wouldn't buy this again and then the last item that we have going out is this nike new england patriots rob gronkowski jersey and this sold for 35 dollars plus shipping so i had this for a very long time i've sent offers of like 20 dollars before lower the price had 40 percent sales 50 percent sales it never sold but after a year and a half it finally sold and i got 35 dollars for it so now that i've showed you guys all the sales let me just break down the resell my way to ak series profits so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys like a little calculator on the side of my phone right here my little pre not pre-editing after editing effects i guess and then you guys can see the total amount right here on this side of the screen that's the new total that we're going to have now So now that we made some sales, we have some money to actually go and buy some new inventory. So my girlfriend and I went to the outlets and we actually went into Paxson because sometimes they have a crazy deal and they had buy one, get three free on sneakers. I've seen it on clothing before. That's where I've gotten the Playboy jeans in the past, but buy one, get three free on sneakers. I've never seen a deal like this in my life. So we're back home now and I didn't want to do too much filming inside of Paxson, but I did want to break down what I actually got. So I bought these Converse right here. I don't remember the exact name, but I looked them up and they were worth around like $60 on eBay. And then I picked up three pairs of Adidas. So there's these Adidas Azaleas. So I got them in two different colorways. I think these were a size, what are they? A size 11. So I picked these up in a size 11, a couple more in like size 10s, 10 and a half. And these are really sweet sneakers. So these were actually $80 but I decided to combine them with the Converse. So basically I ended up getting each pair of shoes like the Adidas and the Converse for $20 a piece. And this has got to be my favorite pickup of the day. So I picked up these House of Horror, or sorry, House of Terror Vans. They're from the movie The Shining and they're actually pretty rare. So I picked these up for $10 a piece and I actually sold one of these already because I listed them up real quick and they sold for $70 per shipping on top. Paxson was actually charging $45 a pair for these, but they actually were buy one, get three free, and I had a $5 discount. So I ended up getting them all for 40, 10 bucks a pair. And that's just pretty sweet. I'm gonna be able to make like, let's just say $50 times four conservatively, at least $200 in sales. So I decided that I wanted a little bit more content for this video. So I'm at a thrift store, you know, it's just a couple minutes away from my house and just looking through the DVD section, didn't find anything. Oh, they have these pretty cool Xbox shirts. Um, how much? $4? That's not terrible, but not for resale. And then look at this. I found this New York Rangers like rain jacket, I guess. I don't know, but it was pretty cool. But five dollars this thing felt like absolute garbage like the material on this was trash if you guys enjoy the what sold style content a lot and you prefer me doing this way over a voiceover let me know in the comments down below because i'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to hear my biggest focus for this channel is not to grow as fast as possible but to actually build a community that comes back and watches my videos so we're getting close to a thousand so i really really appreciate all of you guys so far and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day peace peace